22F25M, I caught my girlfriend in a lie, and I'm shocked how sophisticated the lie was. Basically my girlfriend lied to me, saying she was meeting up with two girlfriends for a night out, but instead went to a different friend's hotel room party with other guys and girls. She's not cheated, but she's lied about her whereabouts. TL. Doctor. My girlfriend told me she was going on a night out at a club event with her two girlfriends. And, accidentally, bumped into a friend's hotel room party with other guys and girls and had pre-drinks. There. Who were also going to the same event. Her friend. Whose hotel room it was. Asked for me to come along too. But she lied and said, my BF is busy, and never asked me. What actually happened is my GF lied to me. And she went to the hotel room by herself. There was never any night out planned with her girlfriends. And then went out with this group of guys and girls. She knew two of the eight people there. She stuck to this story despise me asking her several times about her night in detail. But my gut knew something didn't add up. Her two girlfriends were nowhere to be seen in social media stories, snaps. Later her friend, who rented the hotel room and I trust, mentioned she came by herself to this hotel room party, and that it was planned and not a chance encounter. My GF basically lied to my face, and I've not brought it up yet because I'm trying to convince myself that my GF is incapable of lying to me. Hi all. This is a long post first half is a little background. Second half is the main bit. I've been with my GF for a year. I'd say we have a good relationship. She was the one who asked me to make it official. And I'm posted on her Instagram. We both live with our parents. But hers are very strict and traditional. For the first 67 months. Our relationship was like bliss. It was almost too good. To the point I used to wonder. It was like she was on her best behavior. It's important to mention that my GF's parents are very strict. And she had curfews. But I didn't know this at the time. I used to fully trust her. And take her word for everything. I remember thinking that I've finally found someone I can trust. One weekend we went on holiday. We've been on holiday before several times with no issue. In the evening. We started to talk about family and parents. And long story short my GF opened up a little about her dad being very strict. I had no idea at the time. And it seemed like it was a little distressing. Later in the night, I think talking about her dad triggered something. And she ran off in the town center at midnight. We were outside a bar. I glanced away for 10 seconds and she was gone. Long story short. I spent the next few hours trawling the streets drunk trying to find her. Until it was the early morning. I was about to call the police and her parents. She came in at 6 am at the accommodation we had rented. Literally looking like she had slept in the park. I asked what happened. Why did you run off? My GF revealed to me that her father is abusive. A control freak and she hates him. I think she may have had a mental breakdown of some sort. He has tried to hit her. And is also abusive to his wife too. She has curfews. Is not allowed out at night. For nights out. And the fact she even has me as a boyfriend was a massive thing for her as her dad wouldn't. Normally allow this. All other relationships she's had were done in secret. My girlfriend is used to lying to her father. Although she doesn't lie to her mom. As the dad is abusive to both of them. She says she hates the man. A week before the incident happened. She was calling me her soulmate and stuff like that. It was almost like her true colors showed after this event. Because our relationship started to go a little downhill. The reason I made this post. Recently. My GF went on a night out. It was planned on the day. And she texted me whilst I was working that her girlfriend had a spare ticket to an event. And it'll be a girl's night. Her and two other girls. Later in the evening she called me. And said she's going. I asked her a little more about the event. And she said it's an open invitation. Implying if I wanted to come. 
But I said, no. It's just a girl's night so I want. They were going to go to her girlfriend's house. And then get their mom to drop them into the town center. That's cool. Later in the night, I see my GF reposting an Insta story she's tagged in. And she's with her male friend. Who I know. But it looks like they're in a hotel room. I have her male friend on Insta. And in another story he has a group pic of four girls. One of them is my GF. And four guys. Later on I confirm this was everyone who was in the group. Now here some alarm bells went off. My GF was meant to be with two other girlfriends only. In the group pic, none of her two girlfriends were there. At this point of time, I'm at home thinking it's a girl's night out. And she's at her friend's house. After seeing the story, I get a message from my GF. OMG you won't believe we bumped into Megan. Friend from the second group. And all her mates. No mention of any hotel room or anything. But I knew she was in a hotel room drinking with these guys and girls based on her friend's Insta. Story. I asked her, no way haha. You bumped into them at your girlfriend's. Group 1's. House? She replied with, no, we are out. Her reply made me realize that something is off. She said her friend, group 1, needed the toilet really bad. And they stopped at the hotel. No mention of them stopping at the hotel. Going up to a friend's room for drinking. Basically joining a party no nothing. We live in a busy city. And there is bar after bar in the town center. If you were desperate to use the bathroom, you would never skip all the bars you are walking past and head to a hotel to use a bathroom this is what didn't make sense to me. I got some more details out of her the next day as I didn't buy the explanation. And she basically said they were trying to get to a bar and her friend could not wait. So they went to the hotel as it was on the way. This was impossible because the bars came first. And they'd need to walk an extra 12 minutes to get to the hotel and take a small detour. Anyways. I'm at home getting this text off her. No mention she's at a hotel room with other guys and girls. Later on at 2am she posts a snapchat story of her dancing with all the people from the second group. But none of her two original friends were there. At this point. I was almost adamant she had lied to me but I had no concrete proof. We were meant to see each other the next day anyways. So I asked her how her night went. At this point, if it wasn't for the social media stories, I went to bed thinking my GF had a girl's night with two friends. My GF then told me her story. She went to her friend's house. Group 1. And then their mom dropped all three girls to the club. Because the club hadn't opened yet. They walked to a bar but her friend was dying for the toilet. So they stopped at the hotel. As it was on the way and came first. This is not true. Whilst her friend was using the bathroom at the hotel bar. They happened to bump into one of her friends from the second group who happened to be. Pre-drinking in a hotel room upstairs. So my GF and two friends joined the second group in the hotel room. Everyone from the second group were also going to this same event. So it made sense. Now, the chances of this happening are so slim that I just didn't buy it. But I gave my GF the benefit of the doubt. They all went out to the event in the end. Over the past days, I brought up this night out again in conversation. Not like, you're lying. But more in conversation and get more details about the night. I kept giving her chances of coming clean and telling the truth. But she stuck to this story. I asked her in particular which friends she was out with. Exactly which bar they were looking to go and I sorta implied that her bumping into her friend in. The hotel is one in a million. My gut knew I was being lied to. But I didn't tell her. Fast forward. I joined a night out with my GF and two of her friends from the hotel room. My GF was still making her way. But I was speaking to her friends at the bar. The story he told me was completely different. The real story. He messaged my GF that she should come out to the event. 
and they have a hotel room and she should come meet him and others there as they're having a little party. I asked him if she came by herself. And he said yes she came by herself. No other girls. I also asked him if he actually messaged her to come meet them in the hotel room. And he said yes it was planned. This refutes what my GF saying it was a chance encounter. My GF's male friend also said to invite me at the time. But she said, he's busy, my GF didn't even ask me. Later in the night, I asked her other friend if my GF came alone. And she also confirmed. I didn't tell them that my GF told me something else. As I didn't want to start an argument on a night out. Basically, my GF lied to me about this night out. And I'm genuinely surprised on how good her lie was. It was so good, that I almost bought it had she not mentioned the hotel room along with the social media posts. I'm shocked how well she can lie to my face. And she tells me she loves me. I'm all over her social media. At this party of hers, she met four other guys and followed them on Insta, who are friends of her male friend, and she has started to like one of the guy's posts. Insta is set as public. Normally, I couldn't care however now I feel like I can't trust her. In a group picture at the event, she has her arm around a guy's neck, like a best friend type of arm around the neck. It was super close. There were guys and girls in that pic. But that was the first time she met that guy. I appreciate in pics you do that. But it was close enough that you'd think he was the boyfriend. Throughout our relationship, I told her how important trust is and told her there is no love without trust I'm not sure if her. Lying to her father all her life has something to do with it. I now question everything my GF tells me. Because I don't know if it's the truth or not. I don't know if I should call her out on it, or if I should tell her friends that she lied to me about the night out. I don't like others knowing about our relationship problems. I'm not sure if I should act a bit more naive and see if she slips up on anything again before speaking to her. You're a fool if you stay with this woman. If you're starting to see cockroaches, then the house is probably infested. If you've caught her in this elaborate lie, it's highly likely there are many more that took place. It's up to you if you want to hash it out. Emo. She would need to come clean about everything she has ever lied about for me to continue the relationship. Next lie it's over. However, given that she lied about going to a hotel to meet up with men and women to drink, it's clear she belongs to the streets. She lied to you. She made up a story to meet other dudes in a hotel room and I maybe assume too much but let be. Honest adults don't just meet up in hotels for a slumber party if you understand me. Especially not someone who deliberately lied to her boyfriend about it. Break up and move on you don't need her tell you what you already know. She lied and betrayed your trust. Cheated probably too. Something is definitely amiss. Unfortunately, your GF is from a troubled background sad to say but that alone will bring issues too. The relationship especially BC she's still quite young and hasn't left home and hasn't had a chance to start healing from the dysfunction and abuse. She's a good liar because she had to be. She lies well enough to convince her father. No you can't trust her. I would give her one chance to show you we can be trusted and if she doesn't then break up. You need a TLDR for the TLDR. How much more investigation do you need to convince yourself? Geez. This is hard to swallow for some people so here goes point one. Any partner can lie to you point two. Any partner can be unfaithful point three. It is incredibly common for people both from strict backgrounds and loose backgrounds to do sneaky things. To this particular situation elaborate lie or not the main component here to me is she was willing to lie to your face. Everything else is white noise. 
I had four female friends run this same play ran into some guys at a hotel play around three years ago. Two of the females who set this up were married. And they even had the nerve to set this all up as a bachelorette party. Long story short bro. You got God and now it's time to move on. She has daddy issues. She lies to him. At first you helped her to feel better. But now you are just like her father. TM. So now you get treated like him. She needs therapy. You need out. Good luck. Well she lied you can still date her possibly who cheated on you and will continue to lie. Or dump her and find someone who's honest and respectful to you. Um. Yeah. So she lied. Do you think this will be the last time? Move on. I'm going to tell you this relationship is mostly over. Now that you doubt her this much. And you should after what you found out. How can you believe anything she says? You will doubt and doubt until you are physically sick. And that's not fair to you. Let this one go. She's lied all her life. She might not even be capable of telling you the truth RN even if she wanted to. You deserve better. She needs to get away from her dad and into therapy before she's even in a relationship. Sorry op. This person isn't the one. You wrote ex-girlfriend wrong. He probably did even more you don't know about. Why is she still your GF? This wasn't the first time. She did it because she is still your GF. Yeah. It's a hard pill to swallow when you realize that the woman you've trusted for years is capable of such deceit. I've been there, and the trust will never come back. She lied to go meet another guy she is trying to get with. Stop making excuses up. Just break up. Tell her you're just not feeling it anymore. Let her wonder what went wrong. She may not care. But you can hope it bothers her for a minute. Seven furt months were like too good to be true. Because they weren't true. You just never caught up her lies before. I'm not sure if I should act a bit more naive and see if she slips up on anything again before. Speaking to her? Why? You know she lied to you. Why rub your own nose in it? Clearly she has issues. And you are not seeing the real person. Just the good GF persona she uses. Were I you, I would run far and fast in the alternate you're going to be sucked into a whirlpool of emotion. High feelings and hurt. But it's your choice. Good luck. If she can lie that easily and well about a hotel party. Why would you ever trust she is faithful? The only common denominator in cheating is dishonesty and greed. She had something she wanted and could get it by lying to you. She chose to then do that. So in the future even if she didn't cheat now. She will. It's time to let this one go. It's not worth it. I wouldn't even question her. Just break up and tell her she doesn't deserve to know why. Elmau bro. How are you gonna say you're trying to convince yourself your GF is incapable of lying to you when you, yourself, are poking all the holes in her story and proving it to be a lie? Give her back to the streets my man. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epicaracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.